So hello guys, this is the man Piggy Fi here once again, back at you with another video. And this video, it will be a review on one of the most awesome light machine guns and most Rambo guns in Battlefield Play 3, the M60 light machine gun. But before I do that, I would like to give 5 quick shoutouts. First one goes to XX303 for asking for a shoutout. Second one goes to CrisisWar1234 for asking for a shoutout in the comments. The third one goes to GreatFeedSmell for asking for a shoutout in a TeamSpeak PM. The fourth one goes to Solon Master for asking for a shoutout in the comments. And the fifth and final one goes to Smoke99 for doing the same thing. Now with that out of the way, let me quickly explain the video at hand. Now the gameplay that we, you will be watching will be um, in two parts. The first part of the gameplay will be without any attachments. And these gameplays will be on the map Karkand and Sharky Assault. Now in this gameplay I will, be, I will not be using any attachments, I will be using the bear gun. As you can see it's signified with the red dot with a cross through it at the bottom right. Now at whichever point you see this red dot without a cross through it, that means that the gameplay that you are watching is with attachments. Any attachments that I will be using then will be as follows. I will be using a tactical stack, Viper Max and Precision Barrel with varying scopes. Now let's get on with the actual gun review. The M60 is an American medium machine gun designed between the late 1940s and 1957 where it was first put into service with the United States military to replace the M1918 Bar and the M1919 Browning. In Battlefield Player 3, it's a high damaging light machine gun um, with, various traits that make, uh, with various traits that makes it a really good light machine gun to use. Now the M60, let me quickly... Um, tell you guys the m60 has a rate of fire of 450 this is actually one of the slower rate of fire um, rate of fires I don't know if that's possible but uh, it's one of the slower firing light machine guns in battlefield play for free uh, usually light machine guns fire around 600 rounds per minute as do a lot of the other assault rifles as well but the m60 fires slower than that um, firing at 450 rounds per minute now uh, in my opinion what happens with a slower firing light machine gun is the recoil finally gets um, finally the recoil actually gets easier um, to control. Meaning that um, let's say you have a 600 round per minute weapon and the recoil um, is pretty hefty, so when you shoot, you shoot a lot more bullets, so the recoil gets out of hand really fast. However, with the M60 having uh, such a slow rate of fire, the recoil is actually pretty manageable. Um, and I will get onto the recoil in a moment, but first I want to talk about the ammo count. The ammo count of the M60 is nothing out of the ordinary. Um, it carries 80 bullets per magazine with 2 magazines to spare giving you a total of 160 bullets. Now uh, in my opinion this is um, pretty good, however if you want you can buff this up with any um, ammo attachments such as the extra mags or casket mags or even viper mags which I will be using in the gameplays. Now um, if you use something like casket mags you can get a lot more ammo and uh, live a lot longer However, the, the 160 bullets in total is actually quite a lot to keep you going for quite some time. And there's nothing out of the ordinary because guns like the QGY and M249 saw have exactly the same ammo count. Now the reload time of the M60, um, it states on the website that it's 8 seconds. However, on my testing I came around the number of 7.2 as you can see in the following footage. Now, while uh, this is nothing out of the ordinary again, it's actually pretty um, good, I would say, because uh, things like the QGY have a 10 second reload time and the M240B also has a really slow reload time, and the M60 is actually pretty good, however, however, it's not as fast as something like an MG36 would be. Now, the projectile velocity of the M60 is actually on the slow side, so what I would really recommend you use on this weapon is something like a precision barrel or predator barrel to buff up the projectile velocity if you're going to be using this weapon at long range. Speaking of long range, as you can see here, the M60 is actually a really good weapon for usage, usage at longer ranges. Um, being that it has such a slow rate of fire and that it has one of the fastest settle times, which is uh, the time it takes for the deviation to reset, it's actually a semi-auto sniper beast over longer ranges. The M60 when fired with good trigger discipline, so firing one shot at a time, uh, really slowly, actually puts a lot of you know accurate shots down range, uh, which can really damage your opponent, seeing how the damage is really high on the M60. Speaking of damage, the damage of the M60 is on the high side, um, you know, comparing it to the QGY88, it's pretty similar to it. Uh, let me state the damages for you. The damage at close range for a body shot is 27 to 29 damage. 
For a headshot, it does 57 to 61 damage at close range. At medium range, it does 23 to 27 damage for a body shot and 48 to 57 damage for a headshot. However, at longer range, it does 19 to 23 damage for a body shot and 40 to 48 damage for a headshot. As you can see, it's actually pretty high. Um, the damage, um, actually the lowest damage that it will do will be around 19 damage. So that's actually pretty high. And considering the fact that you can buff this up with something like Viper Max, this makes it a really good option for those longer range engagements where you will be using the M60 quite effectively, um, as I just stated, with the rate of fire that it has. Now the recoil of the weapon is pretty interesting. Um, in my testing, as you will see, I actually found that the recoil of the M60 is pretty inconsistent and consistent at the same time. Now the recoil of the M60 um, goes to the upper right. Meaning that if you want to control it, you would um, pull your mouse down to the bottom left. However, I found that sometimes it goes a bit, you know, faster to the upper right, so it goes a bit sharper, and sometimes it just goes a bit more upwards. Um, it could be something that I just experienced, but um, it's something to keep in mind. But uh, to control the recoil, you have to go to the bottom left. Um, the recoil of the weapon is actually not that hard. Uh, to control in my opinion with the rate of fire that the m60 has as you can see um, the recoil is pretty easy to control and for stocks what i would recommend that you use the tactical stock for best recoil control since the tactical stock reduces the most um, recoil you know to the upper right um, as i find with most bullpup weapons which i'm not sure if the m60 is but it does act like one now the deviation of the m60 it's actually pretty medium um, I would say it's um, pretty average. There's nothing, you know, stellar about it. It's not really like low, low, um, like something like I think the, you know, LSAT would be. But it's not extremely high either with something like an M240 Bravo. However, taking in consideration that the rate of fire is so low, the deviation is actually really easy managed, and you can actually spray for a lot longer uh, than if you had a, you know, faster firing weapon. Now the range of the M60 is actually pretty normal as well, uh, the close range goes from 0 to 15 meters, the medium range goes from 15 to 30 meters, and the long range goes from 30 to um, the range that the M60 has, which I'm not sure um, what it is, but it can be extended with something like a precision barrel. Now my recommendations for the M60 would be using it at medium to longer ranges, or even at close range, because the M60 um, if we're speaking of sights, is that one of the best iron sights in the game, in my opinion. The iron sights is really easy to um, look through, and has a really distinctive um, kind of like a um, post, as you can see, uh, which makes it really easy for you to pinpoint enemies at longer ranges. Um, for example, if you're going for long ranges, you can really easily pop some headshots with the M60. And meaning that it has such a good long range damage and uh, a really good rate of fire, so you can use it like a semi automatic sniper, it makes it that much better. And one also, um, a really important trait which I forgot to mention is the a uh, ADS time of the M60. Um, when using the iron sights, the ADS time of the M60 is 0.2 seconds, which is really fast for a light machine gun, whereas most light machine guns has a, uh, have a uh, ADS time of 0.4 seconds, which makes the M60 really deadly at closer ranges because it aims a lot faster than something like an M27 IAR would, um, or even something like a M240 Bravo. And that's why I recommend you use the iron sights, however if you prefer the red dot there's nothing wrong with that. Well guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to do, if you want me to do any more gun reviews on any other weapons, um, tell me which weapons you want to see. For now, guys, this has been the man by Pikify, and I'm out. We can't stop, failure is not an option Learn from our mistakes, we adapted as a doctrine Locked and reloaded and blood, sweat, devoted Thought that they could keep us down, we would stay demoted But nah, from the ashes we rose And dreams manifest through the actions we chose On time to slack, I tip my hat to he who actually knows If you're playing picture perfect, then you have to repose You can't harm my army, I ain't through recruiting A bit of Michael X with a splash of Huey Newton Perseverance be the answer like the shoes I hoop in we won't rest until the day we get restitution They thought they let us fall by the wayside But we gon' fight into the building, face side Got an aspiration, they healing these lacerations Fascinations with fabrication, so tell me as a niche Who you gon' call when you're back against the wall And you got no time to start